Hey everybody, Vaping Jen with another KI Triple S review just for you. Anyway, I'm sorry it's been a while that I have done any reviews. A lot of you know that I've been going through chemotherapy. I have two sessions left this Friday and the following Friday, and I'll be done for a month. Um, but I also, um, back in December, I caught pneumonia. And every time I start feeling well, I start pushing myself and doing more of my work. And um, so I've it's come back now for the third time. So I've been instructed I'm not allowed out of the house until Friday. So I've been kind of bored. But I've been hacking and coughing. So I did not want to do a KISS review until I was starting to feel better. And I am today. So to on the... On to the review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Flavie's. Um, Flavie's Juicy Brew. And it came into this nice little, boy this is definitely for men, um, box that I received their line in. And it is a beautiful presentation that they did. So you take off the lid and out comes, of course, their card, which has their Flavies profile. And then sits all five of the line of their juice. So it's, it's really, really, I know it's hard to see a little bit, but it is a beautiful presentation. Um, it's got little, you know, the fun things in there to make it, you know, very nice. So... On to the first review. Now, there are five in this line, so this review will be a little bit longer, but I will stop in between, change cotton and all that. Now, of course, I'm using my Freak Show. I have my thing set to 40 watts, which is as high as it goes, and I have it at 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and this is a 0.29.3 ohm coil. That's kind of like my um, sweet spot that I like when I'm dripping. So, first on the list, there are five flavors. And I'm going to go through all the five real quick. First is called Marilyn, then Vivian, Scarlet, Zoe, and Annie. And what I have first in here is Marilyn. And Marilyn is described as strawberry yogurt with a hint of banana. Now, right before I start, I turned on um, the camera and stuff, I started vaping this. And at first, um, I, I have this set so it doesn't show a lot of um, vapor coming because it's making me cough. So I didn't want to do that, so I kind of closed up things a little bit. And, oh, this is so good. Um, so let's take a vape. Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of vapor coming out, and that's because my lungs just can't take it yet. Um, but, oh my goodness, I am not a banana person. Um, I feel that a lot of times banana overtakes the flavor. Um, this is not. You get the strawberry inhale with a very subtle, I mean a subtle hint of a sweet banana. And it's not overly sweet. It is just right on point. It tastes so wonderful. Like I said, I hate bananas. Um, I have tried other lines, and it's just too overpowering, um, and I hate it. This one was done very, very well. Alright, so now I'm getting better on the vapor because my chest has cleared up a little bit. Um, wow, this, this, this Marilyn is just, let me see if I can find it here in the bottle. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. I think this was it. Yeah, this was it. And so this is a 3 milligram <clears throat> and 15 mLs and it does not show their... PGVG ratios. Um, it's thick, so I'm, I'm assuming it's high PG for dripping. Um, but this stuff is absolutely wonderful. So um, I know I don't do a lot of the smell tests, but you actually don't even smell the banana in here. You smell strawberry. And that's the thing that really, really kind of confused me because I like strawberry banana yogurt. And that's what it kind of reminds me of. But the banana is really, really subtle. Oh, I can't say enough good things about this one.
Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, oh, man, this is wonderful. Off to the next review. All right, everybody, I changed out my cotton. Um, same build, everything's the same. I, I don't change out builds. I'm still on the Freak Show, 40 watts, 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and the next on the list is called Vivian. And the description that they have is Special Blend Aloe Beverage. Now, I vaped this a few minutes um, right before I turned the, the camera back on. And I'm really having a hard time picking out flavors in this. This is really good. It's complex. Almost like a floral note to it. Yeah, it, it's like a... I, I, I honestly don't know how to describe it. It's got a little hint, 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 hint of a mint. It's got um, definitely a floral note to it. It's, it's actually pretty good. I like it. It is a very complex vape, and you cannot pick out everything in it. Like I said, I get a hint of mint. Very, very mild hint of mint. I get a hint of a tea. I get a hint of... Um, floral notes in it they've really combined this well um to the point where i can't you know figure it out and that's unusual usually for me yeah it is another great 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 flavor let me open this up just a little bit <clears throat> See if I if I start hacking, I'm sorry. Um, produces great light, great vapor. Um, yeah, this is just another. It's a very complex one. It's one of those that you just it, you could sit back and relax and watch in your favorite girly show. I, I mean, I really see it as you're sitting there watching Gone with the Wind and just vaping away. I mean, it's that kind of just over um, soothing. It's a very soothing vape. Um, Yeah, I, I absolutely adore this one. I mean, I could see myself sitting here just drip, drip, run along, watching Gone with the Wind or another chick flick, you know, that, that I tend to like because I'm a chick. Um, it, it's very, very well done. It's a tiny bit sweet, but not over sweet. Um, they hit the mark on this, and I really wish I could figure out all that's in here. Um, but it's wonderful. It really is. Like I said, it would be a nice, easy, it's a relaxing vape. It's not in your face, overpowering. Um, actually, <clears throat> I did not hack on this when I first did it like I did with the other one because of my pneumonia. And again, this one was Vivian. Um, so we'll be on to the next, and that will be Scarlet. Okay, everybody, I'm back with flavor number three, and that is Scarlet, and it's defined as white peach yogurt, and I stuck it in the freak show, nothing's changed, just the cotton, so here we go, and oh, by the way, I'm using cotton bacon now, everybody, I'm not using the um, bacon from, I mean, excuse me, the cotton from um, uh, Walgreens, because honestly, um, the cotton from, I've noticed a huge difference. The cotton from Walgreens, I would get a cotton flavor. Now I'm getting none. And so this cotton bacon, while it may be a little bit more expensive, comes in a little baggie. 
just like this right here. Um, and I absolutely love it. There, This is version 2.0 by Wick and Vape. Um, and I absolutely love it. And it's been wonderful. So, I, I mean, I've done a lot, uh, quite a few re reviews with this. And this thing's still packed full. So, it lasts a while. So, it's not like it's going to go out tomorrow. Of course, I still have over half a bag of cotton balls, which I'll probably just stick in the bathroom and use. Anyway, so on to this one, peach flavor. And I'm going to vape on it, and let's see what we get. Because I know when I did the smell of it, I could definitely smell the peach. It wasn't an overpowering peach, but it was a really good peach. So here we go. Yep. What you get on the intake is that really, really, really nice peach flavor. It's not an overly sweet peach. It's a real nice peach flavor, very calming peach. And then you get on the exhale an ice cream. And I really like this. So far, there is nothing in this line that I have not liked. It does great vapor production, and I will find out and put down in the comment section underneath what their PGVG ratio is, um, because it doesn't say so on their bottles or card. I'm going to open this wide up and take a bigger vape. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Oh, this was yummy. It is really, really good. This is... This line so far is really impressing me. Um, um, <laughs> I just can't have, I don't have any bad words to say about it. So anyway, on to the next flavor. Um, I have two left to go. So number four is going to be Zoe. Be right back with the next one. All right, everybody, I'm on number four in their line. And this one is called Zoe. And it's described as a lemon citrus tea. Now, when I took it out and was dripping it I can definitely smell the citrus in it um, I can definitely taste the citrus in it and let's see and we'll take a vape I can definitely taste the citrus part and on the inhale you've got a slight tea flavor it's a very very it's a hint and that's the one thing I've been liking about the Flavies line so far it's been very complex nothing's been overpowering one another where you're struggling you know flavor over flavor um, it's just mixed very well now these have been sitting um, in um, um, for about two weeks ago, I got them. So they've been sitting for a while. I don't know if that's made the difference where, you know, instead of opening them right up and using them. Um, but here we go. I'm going to open this up full throttle. <clears throat> the lemon did make me cough, so we'll see. But it's a very, very good lemon. It's not like in your face and tart. It's, it's a nice sweet lemon and I really am enjoying it. Oh yeah, great flavor. You get that definite tea on the inhale and then on the exhale you get the nice lemon. Excellent job. It really is an excellent job. I'll be on to the last and final one in the reviews, and we'll wrap this whole thing all up. Okay, changed out the cotton, and we are on to our last and final one in the Flavies line, and that's Annie, and it's described as a plum cider. Now, when I smelled it, I didn't quite get a whole bunch, excuse me, um, and but when I vaped this, whoa, it was really over the top. You get that apple kind of cider, cinnamon, 
spice on the inhale and a very light plum on the exhale. It is, it's, it's another wonderful combination. These people, the people at Flavies have really done a great job. Yep, it, I, I, the, another fantastic flavor from them. I mean, what more can I say? I haven't disliked any from their line. <clears throat> and for me, that's rare because I'm very, very picky. Um, all of these have been... Um, in um a three milligram so this was annie and I, I have to say the presentation that they sent it to me in was absolutely beautiful um of course you know they're definitely gearing it to men um with this you know kind of labeling but any anybody would love this um if you like subtle tones but ones that you can pick out um it, it's fantastic i i can't actually pick a number one in the top you know i usually try to place them somewhere i love all of these flavors and i'll be vaping them and hopefully in the future i'll be buying more as well um because this will be one that stays in the top of my um juice line that i'll be using often so everybody please check out Flavies juice seed brews and i will make sure i put um links in the description they're on facebook instagram and online at www.flavies f-l-a-v-i-e-s dot com um and they're also on instagram so i'll make sure all those links are up on the in the description underneath but check them out, guys. I think, and gals, you guys are going to absolutely adore them. All the flavors are right on point, and none of them are bad. Um, they're absolutely fabulous. So, again, people from Flavies, thank you for sending this to me. And I absolutely love your line. I really do. So, everybody, remember, keep up to date on upcoming legislations at casaa.org casaa.org Northwest Vaping Association so you know what's coming to the floor thank goodness we're almost done here in Oregon with our legislation session I think we have a few more week, couple more weeks and then we're done for right now um, so keep on top of it we've been able to push back a little bit but they're put, you know they're they're putting in measures that may take effect in like 2017. Well, by then things are going to change and, and be a little bit different. So keep on top of the legislation, people. Um, please visit your local vape shops um, and support them. By supporting them, you're supporting the Northwest Vaporing Association and CASA in our area. And it helps to get the message out as well. So, everybody, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and check it out on my Facebook page. And I will see you in the next KI Triple S review.